What is up guys? Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. So guys, I am so excited because I finally have some more boxes from High Street Outpost. I absolutely adored the previous boxes they sent me. For those who don't know, this is a US-based Harry Potter subscription box. It is monthly, so we get a box every month. So full transparency, as always guys, these boxes were sent to me for free to share with you guys. But I also do have a discount code now, and I'll put it on the screen and in the description. So if you're wanting to give these boxes a try you can use that code to save a little bit of money which we always love saving money the owner did reach out and say that like so many other subscription boxes they were having problems with manufacturing getting their items because of the coronavirus so I kind of think like in general with all subscription boxes we're gonna have to be a little more patient and understanding because it's not only this box like so many of my subscription boxes have like emailed and posted on Instagram and stuff that they're having problems with getting their items manufacturing all of that so they've had delays like so many other subscription boxes but they are finally here and I am so excited I do not remember the theme of these um, I think one was order of the Phoenix and I don't remember the other one, to be honest, but we will find out. I'm going to go ahead and unbox this, so if you were interested, keep watching and let's get into it. Sneak peek, and it's personalized with my name and gold foiling. Hogwarts, best and brightest, be it known to all, Tabby is an official member of the Slug Club for demonstration of superior skills and exceptional magical achievements that... It is so cool. You guys know I absolutely adore when we get personalized items in a subscription box and this gold foiling with the green is killing me. And we even have a wax seal down here with an S, I'm assuming for Slughorn. So yeah, my official certificate of being in the Slug Club. Next we have the Daily Profit, but this also has a little bit of gold foiling on it. So, this is special edition, he who must not be named, eradicated. Ministry for Magic confirms. Baffling reports, he who must not be named has indeed met his end. Mystery surrounds the events that took place in Godric Hollow earlier this evening. James and Lily Potter were found dead in their home left in shambles after an attack by the Dark Lord. Sources within the ministry say the corpse of he who must not be named was also found at the scene of this attack. The Potter's infant son, Harry, was the only survivor. The boy who lived bears a mark on his forehead, evidence that he was indeed struck by the killing curse. The Ministry of Magic and the wizarding community are left befuddled as we all ask, how is a child who cannot talk able to survive the killing curse cast by one of the most powerful wizards of all time? That is so freaking cool oh and this actually feels like a what are they called who gets these anymore newspaper oh my god it actually feels like a newspaper I love this like this is something that happened directly from the book the wizarding world like wow Ooh, next I see something gold it's like a candle holder and it says Felix Felicis. Did I? Um, why does that sound weird? But it is a candle holder and it came with two candles Dragon's Blood and Liquid Luck. Ooh. Ooh, and they both smell good. This is so freaking cool. You could honestly probably use this as like a shot glass as well. Not that I drink. I adore this. This is so freaking pretty. And I love how they made it to where you'll be able to see the candlelight in there coming through. I'll try to take a video of this with the candle in there because I bet it's even prettier. I am such a fan of this. Legit. Next it looks like we have a little paper scroll with a bow on there. It is a note to Jenny from Professor Slughorn, and it says, Dear Jenny, I saw you cast the most marvelous bat bogey hex as I was passing your carriage yesterday. Particularly excellent indeed, young lady. I would be delighted if you would join me in my office this afternoon for lunch. Sincerely, Professor Slughorn. 
That is so cute. Not accurate to the book actually though because they had lunch that day. Professor Slughorn had invited Jenny after seeing her perform the Bat Bogey Hex. So I actually don't think he ever really sent her a note because it all happened on the Hogwarts Express to Hogwarts. But that is still so freaking cute and I love how authentic looking this is and like the paper they chose it definitely feels like it's from the wizarding world and professor slughorn really wrote this i think this might be like a professor slughorn or slug club box because it has a lot of professor slughorn items in it so far next we have a potion Ooh, and it's Veritas Serum. It is one of those magical swirly potions that you guys know i absolutely adore oh my gosh are you seeing this at all it's, oh, I love the green. Like, this is literal magic, people. Literal magic. Wow. Oh, my God. That is so cool. Veritas Serum, of course, is the truth serum. So, a couple drops of this, and you'll be telling me all of your secrets. This might be one of my favorite potions. I know I say that, like, every time. Oh, the bottle, the label, the cap. I am living for this potion. I know. I've been rambling for like five minutes. Holy rabies. Like, are you seeing this magic? It is magic. Next we have, ooh, a jar. Hold the phone. And it says, attacks dry skin and strangles impurities. Devil's snare. Detoxifying bath salt or scrub. Four ounce premium black lava sea salt infused with activated coconut shell charcoal. So it's bath salts and it's devil snares. Ooh. Let's take a gander. Don't really have a smell, but it honestly looks like just charcoal. I personally love getting bath products in these subscription boxes, so I'm very excited to try this. I wonder if it would turn your bath black if you put it in there, because taking like a black bath. Ooh, we have a t-shirt covered in wormies. So it is just a white t-shirt, and it says Honeydukes Legendary Sweet Shop. High Street Hogsmeade. Oh! Now, normally white t-shirts aren't my favorite. As you guys are probably aware, I normally wear black. But I actually really like the white and green together. It's a very simple design, which I know some people prefer. Me, I can kind of go either way. I like shirts that scream Harry Potter and others that are a little more subtle. Um, so yeah, I am a fan. Next, we have a bookmark Slug Club Proud member. Yes, I am. And it has his, um, what are you called? Totally blanking on the name. His time, sure, this thing. And on the back, it says Gryffindor. For I am a Gryffindor. So I'm assuming this is house specific and you'll get whatever house you're in. But I love that this is so shiny. I know I'm blinding you. So very pretty and reflective. And you guys know I love bookmarks, especially Harry Potter ones. So perfection. We have a another certificate with gold foiling. So this is when Lucius Malfoy was made chairman, which I am completely against. He should not be chairman. My father will hear about this. The purple and the gold foiling is killing me. Like, I hate Lucius Malfoy, but I love gold foiling. And then we have Witch Weekly, September 1992. Famous duo meets at Flourish and Blots. This is when Harry went into Flourish and Blots and Lockhart was there signing books and he made Harry take a picture. So it says, famous duo meets at Flourish and Blots. Gilderoy Lockhart, our exclusive with Hogwarts hottest new professor. Most charming Quidditch player, blah, 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 blah. Harry Potter, the boy who lives, returns to Hogwarts. Flying car scandal. That's cute. A fun little moment. I do wish it would have been like the actual maybe picture from the movie because Harry was covered in like ash and soot from traveling by flu powder. It looks like it was kind of photoshopped, but still very cute. And guys, that was it. That was everything from the box. Let's take a quick look at the spoiler card. And yes, the theme was the slug club. Okay, so we got items based off different members of the slug club. So Ginny was 
was the invitation to lunch. Snape was the Veritas Serum. Harry was the Gold Foil Daily Prophet replica and the Witch Weekly's cover. Um, Hermione was the Devil Snare Basalt Scrub. Lily Potter was the Francis Frisch Enamel Pin, which I'll get to in a second. Lucis Malfoy was Hogwarts Governor Certificate. Ambrose Flume was a Honeydukes t-shirt. Tom Riddle was the medal for magical merit. And then Slughorn's Hourglass and House Bookmark Hourglass. Why could I not remember that? And then we had the Felix Felicis Mercury Glass Candle Holder with Dragon Blood and Liquid Luck Scented Candles. And then we had the Slug Club Member Certificate. So, two of the items, which was what this was talking about, the Francis Pin and Medal for Magical Merit are delayed due to the Chinese New Year and coronavirus. They will be shipped out separately as soon as they are delivered. Unfortunately, there is no current ETA because of everything with, like, restrictions. So, I'm glad they did just decide to go ahead and send the box out, and we'll send these at a later date. So, we do have two more items, the fish, and then we have the medal for Tom Riddle. So overall, 11 items, two are delayed. But even with the delay, I still think this was such a good box. I actually really enjoyed the theme and how they decided to do it based off different members. As always, you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. Hands down, my favorite item, you already know, is the potion. Like... I can't even, um, but I also really liked the bath salts, the candle holder, and the candles, and the Daily Profit cover. We'll definitely want to get it framed. Um, my least favorite item would probably be the Witch Weekly cover. I like the moment that they chose to represent. I just wish it would have been more like this, more authentic looking, um, and you can kind of tell this has been photoshopped, so just not my favorite item to be honest but overall I really enjoyed this box as always I would love to hear what you guys thought of it in the comments down below but we still have a whole nother box to get through the order of the Phoenix the secret society not the book so this is the spoiler the card we will save that for last right on top we have oh my god that is hilarious it is the all England best kept suburban lawn competition Wow, this is what the Order of the Phoenix used to lure the Dursley, the Dursley, the Dursleys away when they picked Harry up in book five. And it says, collect your prize for your perfectly maintained, perfectly normal lawn. And I don't think it was even represented in the movies, so you wouldn't know about this if you didn't read the books. That is just hilarious. That is really, really funny. I love it. Next we have a parchment paper. It is the letter that Lily Potter sent to Sirius, the one that Harry found in Sirius's room in book seven. And I think it's like word by word from the letter in the book. I will go ahead and read it very fast. I know this is gonna be a very long video, but I will put a timestamp so if you just wanna skip ahead. Um, Dear Padfoot, thank you, thank you for Harry's birthday present. It was his favorite by far. One year old and already zooming along on a toy broomstick. He looked so pleased with himself. I'm enclosing a picture so you can see. You know it only rises about two feet off the ground, but he nearly killed the cat and he smashed a horrible vase Petunia sent me for Christmas. No complaint there. Of course, James thought it was funny. Says he's going to be a great Quidditch player, but we've had to pack away all the ornaments and make sure we don't take our eyes off him when he gets going. We had a very quiet birthday tea. Just us and old Bethilda, who has always been sweet to us and who dotes on Harry. We were so sorry you couldn't come, but the orders got to come first, and Harry's not old enough to know it's his birthday anyway. James is getting a bit frustrated. Shut up here. He tries not to show it, but I can tell. Also, Dumbledore still ha got his in invisibility cloak, so no chance of little excursions. If you could visit, it would cheer him up so much. Wormy was here last weekend. I thought he seemed down, but that was probably the news about the McKinney's. I cried all evening when I heard. 
Bethilda drops in most days. She is fascinating old thing with the most amazing stories about Dumbledore. I'm not sure he'd be pleased if he knew. I don't know how much to believe, actually, because it seems incredible that Dumbledore could ever have been friends with Gellert Grindelwald. I think her mind is going personally. Lots of love, Lily. So I honestly might rip this. Don't hate me, okay? I'm very sorry. But I honestly think I might rip it from that Dumbledore and then the end of it because that's the part Snape ripped off just so he could have Lily's love. But it's like two different replicas. The letter that Harry found and then the lots of love that Snape stole. So I... I might end up ripping this. I don't know. But I adore this. That is so cool. <sighs> There's a big box in here, and I have to know what it is. And it came with a parchment. Freedom. Welcome to another Potter Watch. We have heard rumors today that a number of muggle-born wizards have been freed from snatchers while awaiting transport. While precise details remain unclear, we have heard that a number of snatchers were stunned in the incident and someone matching description of Harry Potter was seen at the scene. We have one thing to say. If it was you, Harry, and you hear this, keep it up. Once more, it's time for us to pass on tips given to us by those out there and on the run. Here is Rapier with today's tips. Tip one, see the light. Carry some Peruvian instant darkness powder with you. Instant darkness anytime, anywhere. Simply throw it where you want it to be dark and plunge opponents into an instant nighttime, giving you the chance to get away. Which is good because I do have some Peruvian instant powder, so yay. I have tip one. Tip two, peculiar itching, painful bites. Spiders and doxies are poisonous, so if you think you're going to meet them, then get your hands on a bottle of antidote to common poisons. Tip three, get a bottle of fire protection potion and even dragon's breath, which wouldn't trouble you. Good luck out there. Stay safe, keep faith, and support the man with the lightning scar by listening to Potter Watch. Next password is Dearborn. Again, I adore this. I love these little things that make it, make it feel like we're in the wizarding world and we're fighting Lord Voldemort because I am not afraid to say his name. So cool. I will definitely keep listening to Potter Watch. And we do have a mug. I adore this mug. Oh, it's sparkly. It's golden sparkly. Like Potter Watch, stay safe, keep faith. And it has like a little radio on there. And then on the other side, it says, we're here for you. Romulus Warrior, Rapier and River until lightning strikes. And it has a lightning bolt. And I don't know if you can see this. Under the handle is a lightning bolt. It's so freaking pretty. I adore Harry Potter coffee mugs. You guys know this. We're running out of uh, cabinet space. So we've had to start like stacking them on each other. I'm not even lying. But I still stick to my saying. You can never have too many Harry Potter mugs. So keep sending them. I'll keep collecting them. I love it. So cute. Ooh, next it looks like we have a key with a card with Fox on there. And it says, the headquarters of the Order of the Phoenix may be found at number 12 Grimwald Place, London. Oh, so it is the key to the headquarters of the Order of the Phoenix because I am in the Order of the Phoenix. Yes, of course. I am now a secret keeper, which is not very good because I just told all you guys where it is. Uh, they're probably going to kick me out now. But this is very cool. I love the little details of the note. And this is a very pretty key. So yay, it'll definitely go with my other key collection. Ooh, next we have another little box package. It's the shard of the two-way mirror that Harry kept in his little pouch that Hagrid gave him, that he gave him, uh, that Harry kept in his pouch all through pretty much book seven. And look, it has a picture of Albeforth. Albeforth, Dumbledore's brother who ended up getting the mirror from Dumbledore and who was keeping an eye out for the trio. Such a cool replica. Like I know it's a piece of glass with a picture of an eye on it, but the fact that we have Albeforth looking out for us and I absolutely adore this, probably way more than I should. I'm totally putting this on my bookshelf. I might have to turn it this way because I don't think I want Albeforth watching me all the time. <sighs> Such a cool replica. And I totally didn't notice I had black on my face. 
I probably had like black on my face this entire time. Next, it looks like we have a candle. Oh, and it's Tonks. Tonks Citrus Berries and Ivory Geranium, five ounce soy handmade. I love the colors and that kind of, what is it called? Watercolor effect? Tie-dye effect? I, I don't know, that is so cool. Oh, and it smells amazing. Ooh, I definitely am picking the berries up. Yes. Ooh, I am a fan of this candle. Next we have a, I do not know. Um, <laughs> property of Elaster Moody. Oh, Moody. And it's a secrecy sensor. They did use these in the books. I've never gotten one before. So I guess this is maybe what they would look like. I don't ever remember seeing secrecy sensors like in the movie. And so I've never had like a real mental image of how they looked like other than like metal detectors like from the muggle world. That's kind of I guess what I've always pictured when I read that. So maybe now this is what I will think of instead for secrecy sensors. So yeah, and the fact that it belongs to Mad-Eye Moody, all the feels. Next we have some more bubble wrap. Oh my gosh, it's the memories he gives Harry right before he dies. Oh, like, this looks so authentic. Like this potion could have come directly from the movies. Snape is definitely not my favorite character, but this was like the saddest moment with like the saddest memories. You're killing me. You're killing me, High Street Outpost. All the feels. <laughs> All the feels. Ooh, and we have a, another t-shirt. Wormies. It, of course, is an Order of the Phoenix shirt. So, Order of the Phoenix, Advanced Guard, and then we have the Phoenix. And it says Secret Society. Really like the colors, the kind of dark blue with the orange. And it's a very soft shirt. The only thing I will say is... The quality is not the best. Some of the letters are already kind of starting to peel off some. So I definitely think this is a handmade t-shirt. I do like the design. And so I do kind of wish this would have been like professionally done. Just so it might last longer. I'm kind of scared these are just going to peel right off after a good washing. So yeah, not my favorite. Okay, we have two more items in the box. We have a letter from Harry to Snuffles. If you don't know who Snuffles is... Dear Snuffles, hope you're okay. The first week back here has been terrible. I'm really glad it's the weekend. We got a new prof <laughs> We've got a new Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher, Professor Umbridge. She's nearly as nice as your mom or mom. Mom, I'm writing because that thing I wrote to you about last summer happened again last night when I was doing a detention with Umbridge. We're all missing our biggest friend. We hope he'll be back soon. Please write back quickly. Best, Harry. This is the letter that Harry wrote to Sirius in book five, wanting to find out where Hagrid is and why wasn't he back, but trying to do it in like a secret code. Again, I adore this. I love the paper they chose. It feels very authentic. Such a cool replica. I know most people are kind of iffy about getting a lot of paper replicas. I personally love paper replicas and having these little moments from the book kind of brought to life and just getting to have it in my collection. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I love it. Last thing in the box is an art print, and I'm not going to lie, I've been staring at it for like five minutes. I think I recently said in a video that I really wanted a art print of the Seven Potters, and this is kind of close to that. It is an art print of members of the Order of the Phoenix, in book seven that came to take Harry to one of the safe houses. I adore this art print so freaking much. And I love that it's kind of from like Harry's point of view, like him looking out at them. Such a good moment. That's what I said in the other video. I'm like, why isn't this an art print? This is one of my favorite art prints in my entire collection. Like, I love Hagrid, like up there having a crouch down, Mad-Eye Moody looking crazy as always. <sighs> I love this. But that was everything from the box. Let's take a quick look at the spoiler card. We had Lily's Letter to Sirius, Tonks Candle, The Best Kept Lawn Dursley Diversion, 
the Harry's Broken Two-Way Mirror, the Battle of the Seven Potters print, art by Otal Art, the Mad-Eye Moody Secrecy Sensor, Wiggles and Vibrates When Deception is Detected. That's good to know. Harry's Letter to Sirius, Final Memories of Severus Snape, the Advance Guard T-Shirt and the Key to Number 12 Grimwald Place, and the Potter Watch Mug, which is hand wash only. And there were 11 items overall, which I think is a very good number. As always, you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. Hands down for me, I don't even know which one is my favorite favorite because I love them both, is the art print and Snape's memories. Like, I can't even talk about how much I love these items. I, mm, words. My least favorite item would probably have to be the t-shirt. Um, just not the best quality for me. But overall, I thought this was such a great box. I really enjoyed the theme of these boxes. Um, as always, you guys will have to let me know what you thought overall. And guys, remember, if you do want to try out High Street Outpost, I will leave a link to their website in the description along with my discount code. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms, and I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys. I'm loving it. Da 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 da. I'm loving it. Wow. Okay. Giggly a little that is when I will contemplate my evil plans to take over the universe. <sighs> Can't you see it now? Peace. But this will definitely be good. Hilarious. Like, wow. I can't. <laughs> Gringwald? Grin Gringwald? What is his name? Oh my god, I know his name. I know it, like it's right there in my head. See the little and some. Oh, what am I trying to say? Words. Mm -hmm.